Right, in trigonometry, you always find problems like this, where you express something in terms of something. In this case, it says if sine p, if sine 23 is equal to p, write down the following in terms of p. Do not use a calculator. Same questions again, no calculator. Right, let's, let's work it out. What is this saying to me? I've got to find sine 23 in all these problems. I must find sine sin, sin, sin 23 so that I'll change it into p. Because I want to express this in terms of p. I see here cos. How can I get sine from cos? Of course, I've got to introduce 90. So this will be the same as cos into 90 plus. 90 plus what will give me 113? Of course, plus 23. Ah, here comes 23. Right? Let's move on. 90 plus, which quadrant is that? It is the second quadrant. How is cosine on the second quadrant? Cosine is negative on the second quadrant. Because we've got 90, cos will change into sine of 23. Ah, here comes this 23. Wherever I see 23, I push in P. So the answer in this case will be minus P. Uh, I've expressed this in terms of P in that particular way. I want us to look at this second one, cosine of 23. Remember what we have at the moment. Let me just put this into a diagram. Using a diagram, the next topic, sine 23 is the cos. Remember these are ratios. If it is P, it is the same as P over 1. So if we put this in the diagram, uh, uh, this is the right angle triangle, this is 23 degrees. Sine 23 is P over 1, so, so P opposite, which is P over hypotenuse, which is 1. We are short of this side, which we refer to it as X. If we call this side X, and we know that this must be positive. If it was this side, this X was going to be negative. How do you find this? We know that from the theorem of Pythagoras, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. So we know that X squared, X squared uh, plus P squared is equal to 1 squared. So X squared will then be equal to uh, 1 squared minus P squared. So X, the actual X will be equal to the square root of 1 minus P squared. Right, this is how we go about finding this, this third one. Because I need the adjacent when I talk of a cosine. Ka, ka, adjacent of hypotenuse. So what is cosine using this one? What is cosine 23 in this particular case? Cosine, ka, 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 adjacent. What is adjacent? It is my X, which is this one, which is square root of 1 minus P squared over 1, which will be exactly that. This over 1, which is exactly that. That's one way of doing this problem. But I want us to do it the other way. I'm, I'm thinking of another way to do this problem. Cos 23. How do I solve it such that I get the same thing? Now watch here. If I have, I know, there are things that I know. I know that cos, cos squared 23, 23 plus sine squared 23. I know the value of this. When I add this, I'm, I'm trying to introduce cos 23. I know that cos squared 23 plus sine squared 23. What does it give us? Ah, the square identities or the Pythagorean identity. It will give us one at all times. I know this solution. It gives us one. Now watch here. But what is it that we're looking for? We're looking for cos 23. Let's make cos squared 23 the subject. This will then give us uh, cos squared 23 will give us 1 minus sine squared 23. This is what it will give us. But I'm not looking for cos squared, I'm looking for cos. So we put square root on both sides. So this then will be cos 23 is equal to, put a square root that side, ah, 1 minus. But what is sine 23? Sine 23 was given as P. So it is minus P. How is this P? It is squared. It is exactly the same as that one. You can choose whatever root that will uh, satisfy you. I want us to look at the third one. Uh, this one says uh, sine 46. 6.1.3. It's sine 46. When I look at this, I see Remember what is it that we are doing here? We are trying to get 23. We are trying to get sine 23 and remove it and substitute it with P. 
When I see 46, ah, I can see two 23s there. So this will be the same as uh, sine 2 of 23. 2 times 23 is 46. Once I write it in this way, I'm bringing another subtopic called the double angles. Yeah, this is the double angle of sine, and I know how it will be. This will turn out to be 2 sine 23 cos 23. Right, that's what I have. But I know what is sine 23, it is P. This then will be 2 instead of sine 23, I push in P times cos 23. I've just done cos 23, that it is that. So that's what I substitute. It will be uh, square root of 1 minus P squared. I've expressed this in terms of P. Thank you.